Hey guys, this is Randy again from Dino Cams. I'm going to do another edition of our tech series. Um, this week I wanted to do something that I get a lot of questions on. I probably answer this question 10, 15 times a week. Um, it's how to ID a camshaft that I have that I got in a buyout or whatever or is in my engine and I don't have a box. I don't have a card, so I don't know what camshaft I have. I was going to give you a few tips, a few things that we know. Uh, you can't always pinpoint exactly what you have, but at least we can get you in the ballpark. First thing we want to go over is casting numbers. When we buy these camshaft cores uh, and have them shipped in, they come with a casting number. Like this particular one you'll see has an XL. Uh, it has a 3 in between the lobes. This camshaft has an XL1. That's irrelevant to what camshaft this is, what grind we've put on it. Uh, a lot of these cores come in, they'll have different casting numbers between the loads. That has absolutely nothing to do with what camshaft this is. Another common misconception is these stamped numbers on the gear. Uh, this too is a number that's stamped on these gears from the factory when they're made. It uh, doesn't have anything to do with what camshaft it is. So first I just wanted to clear that up. That these casting numbers have absolutely nothing to do with what grinds on this cam. As a matter of fact, when we pull them out of the box to, to undercut and weld up a camshaft, we don't even pay attention to the number between the loads because it's irrelevant to us. Um, so get that out of the way first. Another reason uh, we're going to go over this is we don't mark our camshafts. We don't etch them or put a number on them or stamp them any way. Uh, the reason for that is most of our customers, like yourself, are engine builders. And one engine builder doesn't want to simply hand another builder uh, his secrets or what camshaft he's using. So that's the reason we don't put any markings on the camshaft. If you ever see one that's etched or marked nine times out of ten, the engine builder put those numbers on himself and that's some sort of code or ID that he goes by to help him ID what camshaft he used in a build. Next thing we want to look at is um, I've got a clone and a Predator non-hemi camshaft up here today and I wanted to show you a quick way to tell the difference. This end of a camshaft and this end are called the mains or main journals. If you measure these mains, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but 550, 550 thousandths is what a clone or a Hemi style camshaft will measure on the main. The non-Hemi Predator engine is a little bit larger. Again, I don't know if you can see this, but they measure roughly 558 on the main. So in a nutshell, if you had a non-Hemi Predator camshaft, it's not going to fit in your Hemi engine. It's not going to fit in your clone or your Honda or whatever the case may be. So that's why we sell two different cores. We sell the one for the clone slash Hemi, and then we sell the one for the non-Hemi Predator. So when you're ordering and you have one of these types of engines, always specify which one you do have because the main journal sizes are different. Last thing I wanted to show you today is a real quick way to check lift on your cam. Let's say you got a buyout or you bought a used engine, you want to see what camshaft you have, you don't have access to a degree wheel or a dial indicator, or maybe you don't have the know-how to simply profile a camshaft. That's perfectly understandable. Most people don't do that. Um, that's something a qualified engine builder would do. But there is a quick way to find out what type of cam you have or at least what lift you have. I've got a set of digital calipers here today. Um, it's okay if you don't have digital. If you have standard dial calipers, that would work just as well. So the first thing we're going to do is measure what we call toe-to-heel. Toe-to-heel is the toe or the max lift area of the camshaft to the bottom or the heel area of the camshaft. So toe, heel. You're going to get a measurement on that. And I'm at 1.113. So I got a calculator here. We're going to put in 1.113. And then we're going to measure what's called the base circle, which is the circular part around the bottom of a load. Here to here. So we're going to measure the circular part of the load. I'm getting 759. 
So we're going to take that first measurement, that 1.113, we're going to subtract 0.759. That's going to give us a measurement of 354. So we know that this camshaft is somewhere in the 354 lift range. And if you look through our old catalogs or you looked at our online store at the IDs of all our camshafts, you know we only have one camshaft that's close to 354 and that's our 356. So our main measure is 550. We know that this is a clone core. We've checked our lift. We're at roughly 354. So we know this has got to be one of our 356 camshafts. Um, another cam here I've got. Again we're going to check the main. We're at 558, so we are aware that this is a non-hemi predator core. And then we're going to go through that same method. First thing we're going to measure, toe to heel. Toe to heel, I'm getting 1.124. And I'm going to subtract base circle. Base circle in this camshaft is 0.816. I got a lift of 308. This camshaft is indeed a 308 Predator. We know it's a Predator because we checked the main size and we checked the lift. We know we're at 308. So, just wanted to clear up a few things. Number one, casting numbers are irrelevant. They don't mean anything to the idea of a camshaft. I also wanted to show you what the toe to heel measurement is, what a base circle measurement is, and how you can find the lift on your camshaft to help you ID what it is you have if you don't have a card or a box. Uh, when you get those lift numbers, if you can't find something, you want to know what it is, you're always welcome to give us a call. Our tech department is available. We'll try to help you ID what it is you have. We also can take your camshaft in and ID it for you. That's about it for today. We'll take a look at something else next week. Thank you.